Namaste all myself Dr Sharanya A so here we have come to the last session of AIA PGT 2024 question paper discussion that is from question number 101 to 120 question number 101 which of the following are not under measures of central tendency mean median mode probability the correct answer is option 4 probability we know that probability indicates the chance of happening of an event. It is not a measure of central tendency. Whereas the other three options are measures of central tendency. And also do note the measures of location like average, percentile etc. And also the measures of variability that is range, mean deviation, standard deviation etc. Question number 102. Assertion, difficulty in reading and close work often persistently increasing is in experienced by most of the patients suffering from primary open angle glaucoma. These patients usually complain of frequent changes in press biopic glasses. Reason, in patients of open angle glaucoma, the above problem is due to increasing accommodative failure as a result of constant pressure on the ciliary muscle and its nerve supply. So here both assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation for the assertion. So we know that presbyopia is an accommodative failure and this process of accommodation requires contraction of ciliary muscles which is affected due to the raised intraocular pressure in patients of open angle glaucoma. Question number 103. According to Bhava Prakasha, fish from which of the following source is ideal in Vasanta Rutu? Wells, lakes, river, waterfalls. The correct answer is option 3, river that is Nadeya Malsya. So in light of this question also note the Malsya Upayoga according to other Rutus also. Like fish from Kupa or well which is used during the Hemanta Rutu. Fish from lake or tadaga which is used during the varsharutu etc. And also from this vari varga note the jala upayoga according to ritu. Uh, for example nadeya jala or hamsodaga should be used during sharat ritu etc. Question number 104. A. In koshthashrita vada there is parva shula. B. In amashya gata vada there is hrit nabi parsha udararuk. C. In Tvagadavada, there is Parvaruk and D. In Pakvashayagatavada, there is Trigavedana. So, the correct answer is option 2. So, earlier we had come across a question from Ashayagatavada, Chikilsa, from Sushruta Samhita reference. So, here it is Ashayagatavada Lakshana from Charaka Samhita. So, concentrate on Ashayagatavada Lakshana as well as Chikilsa. And that too from Charaga Samhita, Sushruta Samhita and Ashtanga Hridaya. And also when we look into this question, in list 2 there are options like Parvaruk, Parvashula which are very similar. So while learning we should be specific. Question number 105. This is from Sushruta Ashmari Nidana. A. Vadaja Ashmari is Kadamba Pushpavat. B. Pittaja Ashmari has Madhu Varna. C. Shleshmaja Ashmari has Madhuka Pushpa Varna. And D. In Shukraja Ashmari there is testicular swelling. So the correct answer is option 3. Compare and learn these Lakshanas with that of Ashtanga Hridaya. There are slight differences which can be confusing. Question number 106. Assertion Middle ear infections are more common in the children. Assertion is correct. Reason due to short horizontal and wider eustachian tube. So here assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation for the assertion. In children when compared to the adults the eustachian tube is more shorter and more horizontal straighter. That's why they are more prone to get middle ear infections. And this is also the reason why in infants, uh, the milk easily enters into the middle ear while they are fed in the horizontal position. In infants, the angulation of eustachian tube is around 10 degree, that is almost horizontal. 
while the angulation in adults is around 45 degree question number 107 according to resa tarangini which of the following statement is correct in reference of preparation of artificial haratala so according to resa tarangini the ratio of shankha visham is to gandhaga during the preparation of kritrima haratala is 49 is to 24 question number 108 this question is from charagam sutram yatnya purushiyam adhyayam and the context is agryaushadha karma and dravya and this is a three star topic so a ayasaha sarva apathyana b shashkulyaha shleshma pitta jananana c kulatha amla pitta jananana and d annam vritti karanam shreshtam so the correct answer is option Question number 109. In carcinoma of breast, spread of tumor through bloodstream is to thoracic vertebrae, ribs, lumbar vertebrae, femur, skull. Choose the correct order of frequency from the options given below. So the correct order of decreasing frequency of the spread of tumor is lumbar vertebrae, femur, thoracic vertebrae, ribs, skull. That is C, D, A, B, E. So the correct answer is option 2. And the most dependent position for this spread is the Batson venous plexus. Question number 110. Assertion. According to Charaka, Pajana and Shamaniya Kashayas are to be administered to the patient after the 6th day of Jwara. Assertion is correct. As the shloka says, Pajanam shamaniyam va kashayam payayet bhishak jwaridam shadahe adite laguanna pradibojitam. Reason, according to Charaka, Pajana kashaya is to be administered for Sama dosha pajanam and Shamana kashaya for dosha shamana after Pajana. So here both assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. We know that Pajana Kashaya is given for Ama Dosha Pajana and Shamana Kashaya is given for Pakwa Dosha Shamana. Question number 111. How many Ashastra Krita Netra Rogas are explained by Sushruta? 9, 10, 12, 14. So this is a direct question from Sushruta. Uttara Chikitsida Pravibhaga Vitnyaniya. Sushruta Acharya has mentioned 12 Ashastra Krita Netra Rogas. And along with this, he has also enumerated Chedya Netra Roga, Lekhya Netra Roga, etc. So also do go through that. Question number 112. According to Sushruta, which one of the following is not the Purva Rupa of Ashmari? Vasti Pida, Arojaga, Mutra Kritra, Mutra Ghada. So the correct answer is option 4, Mutra Ghada. This is a direct question. Uh, from Sushruta, Ashmari Nidanam and this is also the second question from this context of Ashmari. Question number 113. Which of the following term explains uneven distribution of color on a tablet? Lamination, capping, modeling, picking. The correct answer is modeling which is uneven distribution of color on a tablet. So these are basically certain defects seen in a tablet. In lamination, uh, there is separation of the tablet into two or more distinct layers. Whereas in capping, there is separation of top or bottom crowns of the tablet from the main body. Whereas uh, picking is a type of adhesion seen on the tablet. So here the correct answer is option 3, mottling. Question number 114. According to Charaka, which of the following is a type of Pittaja Prameha? Vasa Meha, Shukra Meha, Kala Meha, Ikshu Meha. So the correct answer is option 3, Kala Meha. Vasa Meha is Vadaja, Shukra and Ikshu Meha are Kafaja Prameha. And also do note that this is the fourth question coming from the context of Prameha. Question number 115. According to Sushruta, which of the following is not the reason of Mudhagarbha? Abhigata, Yana Vahana, Madhura Rasa Sevana, excessive intake of Kshara. 
the correct answer is option 3 madhura rasa sevana this is a direct question from sushruta mudagarbha nidana so mudagarbha is a three star topic and the main headings under mudagarbha are its nidana its types mudagarbha gati asadhya lakshana and mudagarbha chikilsa question number 116 this is from Charakacharya's Mahakashaya and this is the third question from this context. So A. Vasuga Kushakasha comes under Mutra Virejiniya Mahakashaya. B. Shallaka Shalmali Shriveshtaga comes under Purisha Virajaniya Mahakashaya. C. Draksha Piru Parushaga comes under Jwarahara Mahakashaya and Tumba Vanjula Elavaluga comes under Vedana Sthapana Mahakashaya Gana. So the correct answer is option 2. Question number 117. In case of insufficiency of vitamin D3, the levels in blood will be in the range of more than 30, 21 to 29, 10 to 20, less than 10. The correct answer is option 2, 21 to 29 nanogram per ml. So, vitamin D3 insufficiency is below 30, that is between 21 to 29, while below 20 nanogram per ml will be vitamin D3 deficiency. Question number 118. According to Charaka, which one of the following karma is mentioned for Shirisha Bija? Vamana, Shiro Virejana, Virejana, Asthavana Vasti. The correct answer is option 2, Shiro Virejana. So this question is from Charaka Sutram Apamarga Tanduliya Madhyaya. Few drugs are mentioned here for the purpose of Shiro Virejana which can be used in conditions like Peenasa, Ardhava Bedaga, Apasmara etc. And Shirisha Bija is one among those drugs. Question number 119. National Institute of Homeopathy is located at Kolkata, Bengaluru, New Delhi, Chennai. The correct answer is option 1, Kolkata. Also make note of the places where other national institutes like National Institute of Yunani, National Institute of Siddha etc. are located. Question number 120. According to Sushruta Samhita, which of the following Sneha Paga is indicated for Karma Purana? Mrudu Paga, Madhyama Paga, Khara Paga, Chikkana Paga. The correct answer is option 3, Kharapaga. So according to Sushruta, Mrudupaga is used for Panam and Abhyavaharanam, Madhyamapaga for Nasyam, Abhyangam and Kharapaga for Vasti and Karnapurana. Similarly, tabulate and learn the mode of usage of different types of Snehapaga as per Charaka Charya, Vagbhada Charya, Sharnadhara etc. There are slight differences. So this is an overall view of the question distribution. Of course the weightage is the highest for basic Samhitas. Also a good number of questions have been asked from Kashyapa Samhita, Stati Research and Modern Portion. So give your best during your preparation as well as on the exam day. I wish all the PG aspirants a very good luck. Thank you.